is ready. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, March 15th, and I have an 8K today, a long run, and the weather is beautiful. I'm wearing this because there's a bit of wind. It's a bit of cold. I don't want to get cold. I have a scarf here, just in case. Let's do this. So this week is week four of the 16 week plan. And it's a deload week, it's the first deload. I think I have three deload weeks and then a tapering week, like two tapers before the race. Those are basically weeks where the mileage is gonna be lower and it allows you to recover a little better. So this week I have 19 kilometers and I usually have about 30 kilometers usually. I'm feeling great this week. I've recovered a lot. Could do a little more school work. That's my view with the sun. I'm almost two kilometers in. There was a lot of moving around because the other day I created a, a course on my Garmin in this city and it has some pretty nice trails. I wanted to get on that part of the course, but I didn't really know exactly where it was. Finally, I decided to just not do that and run towards the sun so that so that the sun is in my face. It's warmer. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about all the different types of workouts I have in my 50k ultra. I have four types of workouts. So I have I normally do my intervals or high intensity on Monday right off the bath. And I always do I usually like to pair that with either a lower body workout or a full body just to get keep strength training in my daily thing then i usually have an easy run which is you know easier just recovery getting the miles in i have long runs like today where we're trying to just increase the distance that i can go in one go that i can run in one go and just try to have longer distances. I usually do those whenever I want. I don't have a really busy schedule. Like I, I do have school work. I'm an assistant at uni, but I have a lot of free time so I can run long runs whenever. And the last type is the tempo runs. Those are harder because you wanna go for a long time and at a fast pace so you're gonna be working harder like a moderate vigorous activity but for a long time it's not like a short interval so it's really challenging but really fun that's actually interesting i i just ran past my old high school and people are in pe and i'm just out here and when I was in high school, I kind of liked running, but not crazy, just like for the evaluations. And now I'm just gonna run 50K for fun. So that's nice. All right, I've come to across a hill, so I'm just walking it out. The weather is weird. It was so cold, so I wore really hot and warm clothes. And then it got hot, sunny, and now my heart rate is going crazy because, well, it's hot and I'm wearing hot clothes and heart rate's just really higher because of that. I also wanted to talk about temperature. So I started training in winter for a run that I'm gonna race in the summer. So it's very different apparel the seasons are changing and i don't really know how to dress and that's why i want to talk about temperature because i started this plan in winter so i'm used to like covering with plenty plenty of layers and warm clothes and and now i have to take them off and 
wear less clothes and I don't know exactly what to wear for the temperature and it got, is getting really hot. Fortunately, I'm very fortunate that I have three months out of the four months which I'm going to be training at this temperature so warmer temperatures are coming up so the conditions are going to be actually more representative of the race day. I've done a little over three kilometers. My heart rate is a little high but it is really hot and sunny and I'm wearing a really hot shirt that I usually wear when it's like really cold in winter. Let's talk about fueling now because I'm 30 minutes into my run and typically I read everywhere. I really don't know what I'm doing but I read on a lot of sites and a lot of videos that I saw are saying that you're supposed to get about roughly 50, 60 grams of carbs per hour, like about 200 calories per hour. So I have goodies in my bag here. Okay, I got a gel here. This is actually really good. Maple raspberry from Bricks. We'll see how it sits. I've never had any issues with like digesting food. I tried fueling during running. I tried gummies so far and granola bars weirdly. Didn't have any issues. It was a 12K run. It went great. And my, my last kilometer was actually the fastest. I never had a gel on a run. I want to say though, if you're gonna grab this, make sure you kind of get water with it because it's a little thick. That one had 100 calories and around 25 grams carbs. So it's actually good for like 30 minutes. And then I like to have another one every 30 minutes. In terms of like fuel and pre-run, if I'm gonna go run in the morning, it's gonna be oats, protein oats with a banana or strawberries. In terms of hydration, for today, I only have water in these. Those are two 10 ounces bottles from Salomon. And I actually saw this hydration vest when watching one of Anna's videos. Here's her channel, so. Make sure you check her out, she's amazing. Very, very educational, great value. Now I wanna talk about recovery and the importance of rest in between your sessions. I was actually really skeptical at first because I'd run only one half marathon in 2021 before starting this and runner, Kind of made it work with like three runs a week and they were like yeah you're gonna make you're gonna, you're gonna meet your goal a 50k in june and i'm like really with that little mileage i just i had like 50k a week max i always thought that you need to like run a longer distance uh, either equal distance or longer distances in one go in your training to get a race in and run a I find myself having two rest days per week and I still feel great and I can get the distance in and I can push and it's great I think sleeping like making sleep my priority really helps too like resting from having a good night's sleep is really good like I get really good trainings the next day when I do that when I notice I've slept well it's just really helpful and when I get a good recovery I always can push more and whenever that good recovery is fueled by sleep it's just incredible so rest people it's important I've been trying to get content since the beginning on this run and there have been so many cars all the time 
all over and they're just so loud they always overpower me and when I edit with cars when I get a car in the background in the edit it's just always so loud and I have to like get rid of the footage because it's useless and they're just so loud finding a quiet street here takes a lot of time um, I'm almost 6k in just got over 6k and feeling good, feeling good. Heart rate's 132. I'm approaching an hour of running, so I'm gonna have another food here. This is from X Act. It's their strawberry bar fruit. Bar, fruit bar. Oh my God. Wow, that's really sweet. And almost too sweet. I'm also not in love with the texture. I'm running in a really old town and I love it here because it's so old. <laughs> it's vintage and it has really great architecture. Like the building's architecture is just beautiful. And it's such a cute little town. I just love it here, but there's a lot of cars and people. I don't think I'm eating this again. It is so sweet. I actually prefer like gummies or... I don't know if you know what I mean, but... Some gummies aren't that sweet. Like this tastes like... Do you know those fruits? They do like fruit gummies in the shape of a fruit. I don't know if that's like... Makes any sense, but... It's way too sweet and I'm not a fan of the texture either. So yeah, I don't think I'm having that again. I like the gel though. I'm downhill now. This is good. I don't know what it is about downhills, but it just feels so easy and fast. I have about 1K left, a little over 1K left. I'll just enjoy it. I have about 500 meters left. So it's basically, I runs the car now. Um, almost done. Okay, 8.14 kilometers, 8.54 per kilometer, and 150 heart rate. I feel like today was a real mess. I feel like I started this, I didn't know where I was going. I knew where I wanted to go, I didn't know how to get there. So I kinda ran a little everywhere here. And then I noticed that I would never find like where I was supposed to go to follow that course. So I decided to just follow the sun because it's warmer in the sun and I felt like I was afraid to be cold if I wasn't facing it. And then when I tried to film, there were cars and people, and I just feel like today was a mess, and it's not like my greatest run ever, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. Honestly, I just wanted to go the distance. I just wanna do all my runs, take you on the journey with me, and even though they're not my best runs ever, I just like to bring you on the journey and learn new things and learn about hydration, learn about fueling while I'm running or before or after running and just having like really good habits and sharing that with you, sharing my learning, sharing my knowledge, sharing what's new and bringing you on with me to learn those things. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though I'm not sure if it has any value to it. If you think there's value in my video, please comment and let me know that this, I haven't done this for nothing and I haven't get pissed off by cars and people for nothing. If you did enjoy this video, I will have my running playlist right over here and the subscribe button so that you don't miss my 50K ultra marathon journey. And with that, I will see you in the next video.